Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm outside trying to collect eggs before I start cooking. So I figured I'd bring you along. You'll hear Casper and Jasper in the background, my two turkeys. One egg. So now I'll take you back into the kitchen and I'll start cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make my angel food cake. So the first thing that I'm going to start out with is 12 egg whites. I'll put the yolks off to the side and save that for later. Now I'll go rinse my hands because I got egg whites all over them. I'll place my egg whites in my mixer. To the egg whites, I'll add in a half a teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. My egg whites now are at a medium peak. Add in one cup of sifted flour. I'll fold it all in. I have one and a half cups of sugar that I'll also sift in. You can see the medium peaks. And the volume. So what I'm going to do is take it by thirds or fourths and fold it into the egg whites. This angel food cake too tastes just like if you were to buy it at a store. Fold in a little more. And that's all there is to it, to this homemade angel food cake. I have my oven preheated at 375 and I'll bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now your oven may vary so just keep an eye on it. You just want it a lightly golden brown on top.
This is really light and airy too. And if you want to put strawberries on it or blueberries, I'll be putting my blueberry syrup with some blueberries on top and whipped cream. It's really, really good. Now I'll add in the rest. And see how fluffy that is? So I have my tube pan that I'll lightly spray. I don't want it sticking. I'll place the mixture around my tube pan. making sure to get it all. I'm not going to shake it or rock it. I'm going to leave it just as is and I'll place it in my oven. And that's all there is to it. It's really, really good. Your family's going to love this homemade angel food cake. Look at how good that is. I'll close the door lightly. My angel food cake, I took it out of the pan, so now I'll cut a little piece. Put some of my blueberry syrup on top. With some whole blueberries. Look at how good that looks. I'll get some whipped cream. You can see how nice and fluffy this angel food cake is. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, it's really good. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm, mm, mm. This angel food cake is so good. It tastes just like I, if I were to buy it at a store, but it's homemade. Your family's really gonna love this because this angel food cake, like I said, is really, really good. And I love it with the blueberries on there and the syrup, my homemade syrup, really tastes good. Well, thank you so much for watching me make my homemade angel food cake. I hope you enjoyed it. Please follow me on Twitter on the Home Cooking with C and on Facebook, Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.